a quick tip for those who use RTL dongles as SDRs. They plug into the USB on your computer and give you VHF and UHF coverage. And even better is if you've got an HF up converter that can cover lower frequencies as well. They're great fun to use, but tuning in SSB signals in with the mouse can be awkward. In this video, I'm going to suggest something that's cheap, but might make tuning in a little bit easier. There's no reason why you can't have two mice on your computer instead of one. You could use one to control the coarse tuning and some of the other settings, and another for the fine tuning. Even better is if you can modify the second mouse to make the tuning easier. This one was picked up at a trash and treasure sale for three dollars. Make sure it's got a USB connection rather than the older nine pin type. As you can see it needs a good clean. Something like eucalyptus oil should be okay. I've removed the trackball. That function is performed by your usual mouse which we're not going to modify. The bit we're interested in is this roller because it is this in software like SDR Sharp that's used to tune the receiver. There are also some springs I elected to remove those springs to provide a smooth tuning motion. That makes it more like a smooth tuning VFO knob. When you plug in your second mouse, your computer will give you a message saying that it needs a driver. Let it go through that process, it won't take long, and then you'll have the second mouse functional. This is the main mouse used for large frequency excursions. And here's our extra mouse, used for smaller frequency excursions. With a little bit of practice, large frequency excursions and tuning the stations in becomes quite a quick process. The left mouse being used for fine frequency adjustments like tuning in SSB and the right mouse used for larger excursions including changes of mode or other settings. Here's something else you can do, and you may already have all the parts required in your junk box. If you want even easier tuning than turning this up and down, then why not have a shaft and a roller and an extension to a large tuning knob? That will make the SDR feel more like a full scale transceiver. There's all sorts of materials you could use for the spindles. For instance, a potentiometer normally can be turned around 80% or so of its rotation. But if you open its case, there are little lugs that you can undo with a screwdriver and pliers, then you'll be able to remove the stopper that inhibits that rotation. And then you can have it turning 360 degrees. This particular one looks a little bit short, unless you had a larger diameter roller. Then you could make a bracket to support the potentiometer body above the mouse and still have some room for possibly a recess panel and then your main tuning knob. You might find these rollers in old tape recorders, turntables or similar.